Reels are now available natively on Facebook. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to create and post your first reel to Facebook. Hi, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Before we dive into this tutorial, remember creating reels needs to be part of your content creation planning and strategy. So go grab my free content planning worksheet down below to make sure that you are using your time smartly for your business. All right, let's head over to the phone so that I can show you how to do this. So when you are in Facebook from the mobile app, you just hit this reels button right here under your profile picture, and it's gonna take you into this interface. You cannot use reels or watch reels currently at the time of this recording on desktop. Now, when you're in this interface, we're gonna see down here at the bottom, we have different photos and videos available. These are on our personal camera rolls. As you can see, this is the record button that we're going to use to record when we are ready. Up here at the top is gonna to be like our flash or no flash situation. I can see it makes it bright or not bright. We can change these different lighting settings. I'm just gonna turn mine off. Okay, right here, we can flip our camera around if we wanna turn the screen around. We can add music, we have our speed, our effects, and our green screen. And then up here in the upper, upper corner, we have these little dots, and this is something isn't working and we can report a bug. You don't need to worry about that. So let's look first here at our add music. So in add music, it's gonna show us like, these are the things that are popular and trending right now that people are using and that are really common and popular. We have new releases, we have different themes like the throwback Thursdays, voiceovers, and so forth. I like going into browse and I can see like different themes. Like right now it's Halloween time. So there's some really fun Halloween themed music and we can tap into. We have, you know, uh, discover black artists, birthdays, date night. So many really fun things that we can dig into. I also love saved. Now saved, I don't have any saved currently, but saved is really good for like, if you're watching reels and you like what someone has done, you can save it or you can like hit save here and it's saved and it goes into my save. So I can save the audio file. Now, if you wanna just talk it out to the screen, which is what we're gonna do for this example, we can just hit the record button, talk it out. If you have music, you cannot talk. So do know that that happens. So let's say you wanna do a dance video or a song and you're, or lip sync something and it's hard to track. If you go here to speed, it's gonna slow it down or speed up. So if you wanna make it faster, you can two X it or you can like half it if you need to for making it a little slower so it's easier for you to move and lip sync to. Then we have effects. Now effects are gonna be face effects and stuff like that that you can see that go up on people's stuff. Like they do all this like weird stuff. I am not a really big fan of effects. I kind of think they're dumb, but that's everyone has their own opinion. My kids love them and playing with them so you can use this how you wish. So then we have our green screen right here. So in the green screen, this is where you can have like a pre-existing background that someone can like, like adjust for. You can make it bigger. You can make yourself smaller in here. You can sit back and be like, look at me. I'm just hanging out on my airplane or whatever it is. Or let's say you want to add a photo from your role. You can do that as well. Like, like look, this is my sweet puppy, Kara Bobera. I can make her how I want her to look and be like, oh, look, this is her. So like that is how you can use the green screen effect as well um, for what you have going on. I'm gonna cancel it here. So let's record something real quick and then we're gonna add text and do different animations. So ready, so let's do this. Hit the record button right here. Hit the stop button. Hey guys, I'm doing a demonstration of how you can turn the volume use off because it's gonna just keep looping and looping and looping while I'm talking this whole time. I don't want to do that. Now, what you're gonna wanna try and do is hit save here in the bottom left-hand corner. If you want to download it to your phone, um, you can do that before and after you add, add effects. We have our music if we wanna add anything to it. We have our text here that we can put stuff in here, right? We can change out the different fonts, very similar to Instagram, which makes sense since Facebook owns Instagram. We have different clips if we need to like make this clip shorter for some reason, or if we want to add in different things to. Okay, so I can add this in and I can see that I have my video clip going on and then I can have the cut clip that's gonna happen right here. So you can see how that added in. I can hit done, I can have it. So I can go here, click my text, hit the little clock and I can shorten when that happens or doesn't happen can stop it right when it jumps to the new clip. Right, and hit done. And then we'll see it go away. We also have the stickers that we can use if we wanna add in different GIFs and do different stuff. We have like this here, 
okay? Keep that on our screen the whole time. Whenever you use stickers, they are there the whole length of the video, not just for um, a time version like what you can do with the text. And then again, I can save it again so that I have it natively to my phone. I can also go up again in here to the dots if I need to, if there's an issue. And I'm gonna hit next. You know, doing a demo. I cannot select my cover image as of the time of this recording, but hopefully that will be coming soon. I can check this for public, um, friends only, something like that if I want, defaults to public, and I can just hit share my reel. So what it's going to do is take me to all of the reels, and I'm gonna need to wait for my reel to process and for Facebook to approve it. And what'll happen is it'll show up in our notifications. Okay, so as you can see in my notification, your reel is ready to view. I can click it, turn up my volume so I can hear it. How you can use Facebook Reels. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below and enjoy these different features and effects. You when I'm in this reel, I can see my my messaging. I have a like button, I have a comment, and I have like the share if I want to share it onto my feed. It's important to note that when you post to Reels, it does not automatically post into the feed. So if you want to do that, you can do that now or you can send it in Messenger. And we have our dots again where we can save our reel, save to the phone or something else. Now, what you can do is just swipe up and it's going to show you other reels that you might be interested in using the same algorithm that we see on Instagram where it's just people are just doing stuff. So as you can see, we have their sound at the bottom. We can tap and it's going to take us to where other people's audios are. We can go to comment and we can leave a comment on this post. We can hit the three dots and we can now save to our Reels profile. Um, when we swipe up again, we can see here we've got our messaging, right? So we can kind of see what her messages are in there. So it's got a lot of options of what you can do in here. And it's very similar to Instagram Reels, but this one's going to show up on Facebook. And as you can see, as we scroll, the, the after three posts, we can see Reels right here on the interface and we can kind of go through and see it. We have my reels right here. We can see the ones that you have posted. And that is how Facebook reels works. So if you want to know more about how you can be using Facebook to grow your business, I want you to watch this video here. Where I'm going to walk you through this and watch this video right here because YouTube thinks you are really going to like it. And until next time, I will see you soon.